so in the last week, uh, CBC Marketplace uh, released an article about S-Trip and them exposing them about their rules and regulations, uh, accusing them of being unsafe and stuff, people jumping out of balconies. And I'm just here to say that's not true. That didn't happen on our trip. I mean, I went, I went last July and it was extremely fun, well organized, extremely, extremely like friendly. So I'm here making this video, you know, kind of to the parents to like let your children go to S-Trip. It's completely safe, 100%. So one of CBC's main attacking points was safety. And I can completely say it was 100% safe. All the instructors did an excellent job. They even took us to the depths of Moran City, the heart of the city, and we felt completely safe. You know, I felt like I was at home. Everyone was like welcoming and stuff. Like it was just amazing. You know, they didn't try to like rob us or anything. Yo, compadre, chico, chico, hey, Canadian. Hey, how's, how's it going? You looking for Cubano? Ah, you looking for Cubano? I like your hat, man, come. Oh, my hat? Um, yeah. Ah, claro, I, chico, claro. I, I have two of these. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, your watch, your watch. Oh, oh, I just got this one. No, no, I trade you for Cubanos, man. Oh, okay, okay. You like the Cubanos, you like the Cubano chicas, you like everything, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is it a shirt, too? No. Oh, uh, shirt? Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> Like I said, 100% safe. Another uh, one of CBC's main attacking points was underage drinking. Um, I mean, it happens, but like, to be completely honest, like I didn't have a single ounce of alcohol. I was 17 when I went. I followed the rules completely. Like, I really didn't see anyone drink that much, to be honest. Faster. But in all seriousness, you're gonna drink. It's gonna happen. Like, I remember going to uh, the buffet and asking for a water and he brought me a beer. Also, I feel like responsibility is a big factor. I mean, if you're not ready to go, then don't go. You know, if you can handle yourself, if you have discipline, you should definitely go on the trip. It's, it's really a trip of a lifetime. But uh, one of the more shocking points of uh, the article was an audio recording of uh, one of the girls who went on the trip saying that, uh, you know, guys just try to get them drunk and take advantage of them. I can say that's completely false and disgusting and I was appalled when I heard that. Thank you for meeting me. I'm here from the CBI. Uh, what really happened on S-Trip with those girls? Shit, man. You know, that's a tough question. Um, honestly, like, the whole target was just uh, drunk girls. And honestly, like, I put on a show, pretend I'm drunk. It's pretty bad, um, uh, I'm okay with it. So all in all, scheme trip, I mean, S-trip, you know, it was a blast. Uh, definitely a trip of a lifetime. Price point's a little too high for my liking, but that's to be expected. You know, you pay for stuff like the Moran City excursion and the volunteering. Oh my god, the volunteering. Experience of a lifetime. Honestly, it changed my life, you know? <laughs> volunteering in the morning. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, so all bad jokes aside, uh, S-Trip was a blast, it was fun, I recommend it fully. Uh, parents, send your kids, like, it's worth it. Um, CBC was kind of twisting the truth a little bit. I mean, if you're like a white kid from Alberta, spot on. But if you're like regular guys like me, regular girls, you'll be fine. It's, it's, it's really a blast and it's, it's a great stress reliever after exams and after graduation, so fully recommend it. Yay!